If you're a musician using the iPad to read sheet music and the AirTurn BT-105 to turn pages hands-free, and you're playing a lot of different songs on a given recital or gig, then you're going to want to get familiar with the idea of creating what's called a set list. A set list is simply a customized list of songs in your any order that you want to perform them. What's really nice about using set lists with the AirTurn BT-105 is that when you get to the end of one song in that list, when you use your AirTurn to just advance to the next page at the end of that song, the set list will automatically open up to the next song that you have put in order in that set list. So let's go ahead and take a look at creating set lists as an example in one app. Now there are several apps, in fact most of the music reading apps that are compatible with the AirTurn BT-105, PDF readers, text readers, most of them will have some way to create a set list. But let's just take a look at one in particular. Uh, this is an app called the Gig Easy and has a very nice easy way to very quickly and easily create and modify set lists based on your library of sheet music. Now, the Gig Easy also makes uh, some wonderful stands and iPad mount, uh, mic mounts, uh, so you want to check them out. Anyway, they also have their own app for reading PDF files. So when you open up the Gig Easy, you see this screen and you see this toolbar at the bottom. Now you can hide this toolbar by pressing this arrow, this little golden arrow, and it'll kind of hide that toolbar. If you want to pull it out again, tap on the arrow again, and there you go. Take a look at that little thing that's called set lists, which looks like a bunch of very colorful notes. Uh, the Gig Easy, I think, wins the award for prettiest interface. So tap on that. Here you go, set lists. And now you can see I already have a couple of set lists that I've created for some other events. If you want to create a new one, let's go ahead and let's tap on add over here. And as you can see on the left, I have a collection of songs I have loaded. These are all PDF files that I have actually loaded into the Gig Easy using uh, iTunes as my file transfer um, program. Anyway, uh, we, that's a different tutorial that you can look up, but let's take a look right now at adding these songs. It's very simple. From this list of songs, as you can see, I can simply go ahead and tap on any given song on the left-hand column, the song library, and whenever I tap something on the left-hand column, it'll automatically appear on the right-hand side under set lists. Let's do another one over here. Try to comply with me. Let's try one more over here. And let's do something interesting. I want to see if I can actually do this twice. See, take a look at this. Even if I hit it two times, it'll, it will appear as many times as you tap it. You can go back to another song, and you can see Blue Train was already in the beginning. And let's say I made a mistake, and I want to remove one of those songs. Go into your set lists, call on the right, and you see those little red circles with the white bar? Tap on that, and that will remove, give you the option to delete. Just press on the delete button now. And there you go, it's, taken, it's gone away. Now let's say I want to change the order of any of these songs right now. I've, I've maybe selected a couple other things, and I want to change the order a little bit. Let's go ahead and uh, I'm going to just delete this I Wish lyrics. Let's say I want to move our, our Love Is Here from the bottom to the top. Take your finger and tap and hold that little uh, bar that looks like three bars on the right on the song. Tap and hold that. You'll see it changes colors, and you'll be given the option to kind of move it in any position you'd like. Go ahead and put it up on the top here. And so you can very quickly and very easily change the order. Once you finish selecting your songs, tap in the Create Set List Name box. Let's call it Gig Easy. All right. Tap on Done, and there you go. You have your set list right over here. Now go ahead and tap on that. Let's just give a quick demonstration. So here's the song. I'm going to go ahead and hide this toolbar on the bottom so you can see the song more clearly. And I already have my air turn kind of uh, synced to my iPad. And I'm turning pages with my foot. When I get to the end of a song, you see it automatically moves to Blue Train. Turn the page forward again. Let's do it one more time. And as you can see, it automatically opens up to the next song, the third song in the set. You can also go backwards. If I go backwards on this first page of the song, it'll go to the last page of the previous song, so on and so forth. That was Blue Train over here. Pretty cool, isn't it? So that's a quick, easy way to navigate your set list. Let's do one more quick thing. If I need to, if I have my set list already and showtime comes and I have to change the order around one more time, tap on the little golden arrow over here. Let's go into set lists again. All right. Let's tap on the little blue arrow next to the set list that you want to work on. 
and you're taken back to this same screen which you just saw a little while ago. Once again, let's say you want to move uh, Come Fly With Me to, to be first instead. Tap on the little triple bar icon to the right of that song, Come Fly With Me. Tap on that, hold it, and drag your finger up or down, and there you go. And when, you when you're finished with that, just simply tap Done. And now when you go and tap on the Gig Easy, Come Fly With Me is now the first song, and then you can advance through your set list. So that's a quick look at what set lists are. Again, this is just one example. The app is called the Gig Easy here in this example, but you can explore set lists in almost any other um, PDF or text reader, basically in any kind of reader app that's based on uh, reading sheet music, most of them, not all, but most of them will be uh, giving you the capability to create these set lists. If you want to find a complete listing of apps that have set, set list creation capabilities, I encourage you to take a look at the AirTurn app guide, and I'll include a link to that in the video notes.